Good to see everybody again. Appreciate you coming. James Amps of Amps International LLC returning to the U.S. Virgin Islands to mentor the participants from the Amps Entrepreneurship Leadership Institute retreats that were held in St. Croix and St. Thomas, this time playing matchmaker. I to start. And the main thing for me today is I want to be able to get your number one career that you really want because then I'll take that and I'll find a mentor for you. So if you say you want law, then we'll find a lawyer or a judge. If you say you want cosmetology, we'll find somebody who has a shop. If you say you want dental, we'll find somebody who's a dentist. Whatever it is that you tell me that you really want to get into, then let's set you up with a mentor and go from there, okay? He partnered with the ICAPA World Network, which has over 13,000 business owners and executives in its group to become mentors to the students. As part of the AMPS Institute Youth Entrepreneurship Program, the students receive a year-long mentorship to help build their businesses and careers. But I really want to match you up with some mentors and get you ready for the ICABA network. So we're going to actually start working on those bios and pictures so we can get you on that network so you can actually talk to counselors, talk to presidents of universities and so forth on that network, okay? Master entrepreneurship trainer Juan Casimiro also returned to the U.S. Virgin Islands. He is instrumental in helping students generate business ideas, then implement them. This is for business, but I'm saying you package your own and add that into your bio, your college applications. You'll see what it looks like at the very end. So here you have key partners, I would say mentors. And then you list one to three mentors. Who are they? Okay. Here are key activities. What do you think you can put there? Thank you. Things, activities that you've been part of. School clubs. Now, and it's 2028. You're out of college. Five years from now, you're ready to graduate, right? It's now 2020. What do you see yourself in? Creating music. You know, that's part time. But I mostly see myself when it's like, you know, working on uh, like. So something along with technology yeah. and music combined. So let me think through of individuals we can connect you with. For sure, you want to definitely stay within STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. That's where the funding is for college students. Juan is now helping them with their next step in preparing for college, or in some cases, trade school. I'm, I don't want to go to college. I do want to go to trade school. Okay. I applaud that 100%. If that's what you want to do, and if your parents support it, I mean, I told someone who was into, well, he had already his license as an 18 year old, 19 to be a barber. Might have been 19. And he went to college just to run his business. Yeah, the main things, I guess, was, you know, looking at his, of course, my writing, but right now it's been agriculture heavily as well. Mm. You know, mm. I recently got the job at the, uh, same indoor farm and it's like I really enjoy it and I would like to kind of see what's going to do like you know looking for a degree too how did you thing. get that job um, did you apply application online or something no it, uh, I guess same way like how you said relationship my um the, I it, it was strange how it circular it was but I had a spring break when I was at UPI I met the guy who would become the manager of that place there as well as um where was it and that as well as a friend, a friend of his told me that they had the place, you know, so yeah, a friend of his, after I met him some years back, told me that uh, there's a farm thing and I came, I came like dressed up and everything, like expecting like an interview and uh, he just, like, that's even, and that's just how I started working there, you know. That's a relationship yeah. and you kept that friendship and then referred you to a friend. Every month, the students meet virtually or in person with the AMPS Institute and hear how they can move their businesses forward. One school counselor describing she's seeing improvements in other areas as well. Yes, I just want to share that the students that went through the Institute have returned with a new attitude. They are more spunky, more engaged. They are excited about learning. They are more business driven and they arrive to school, they're more engaged. And I have to attribute this to the experience at the Institute. And they're really excited about all the new adventures. 
So, the retreats in both St. Thomas and St. Croix were sponsored by the USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service in partnership with the University of the Virgin Islands School of Agriculture. The AMS Institute was called in to generate interest in the agriculture industry because the greatest threat in the region is food sustainability and conservation. The retreats not only teach about how to start a business, but use a pitch competition as an incentive to earn cash investments. The next AMPS Entrepreneurship Leadership Institute retreat is scheduled for Puerto Rico. For more details, go to ampsinstitute.com.